Okay, tonight we're going to be talking about uh, the basics of package configs, and this is actually just going to be a specific scenario that comes up quite a bit, and this was uh, actually inspired by a user on one of the forums. So uh, um, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to talk about uh, being able to load uh, an OLEDB data source or any connection manager really um, that requires a login and uh, pass that and push that login from a config file. So if you look what I've got here, I'm, I've got a uh, <clears throat> I've got a simple OLEDB source and I'm just piping it to a row count since I'm I'm really more concerned with the process of using a config file than actually moving data. And I'm just going to count the rows as they come across just to show you that just to, to prove to you that I can make the connection here, right? So come down here to connection managers mm, there you go and you'll see I've got my SQL username and password right so as I do that there we go and it's just counting the rows that's all it's going to do it's going to go up to 24 million and change so there's no reason to uh, continue that because you can it's just going to be more of the same. You can see I made the connection. So now I'm going to turn this into a package config. So what I have to do is come up here to SIS, go to package configs. You notice that the uh, enable package config uh, checkbox is checked. <clears throat> I'm going to come here. I've got to specify a config file directory. And that's going to put me... BCP tests. Let's get rid of this guy for now. There we go. Let's go ahead and keep the same one. My config. There we go. So I'm passing it there. Now, you've got other choices here too, right? Um, but right now, we're really only worried about uh, XML. Now, in here, you've got all these guys right here. I'm going to go ahead and close this down. Okay, I've got connection managers. I want to choose the appropriate connection manager. Notice that's the same one that I've got down here, properties, and then connection string. And it's just going to be any kind of, the same kind of connection string that you would use from, you know, any .NET program. Uh, you know, any VB.NET, or it's actually pretty similar to, uh, you know, the regular ADO connection you used to make from, uh, from VB script. So we've got that. We'll call it my config. You can have several of them. And finish. And I'm done. Now, this, depending on how this works, this should probably fail. There we go. And if I'm looking for, there it is, login failed for user SM account. And it should fail because I haven't added that password to the config file yet. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up in Notepad here. Yes, 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 I know Notepad. Okay, so I've got that there. I'm going to drag that off in a Notepad. <clears throat> I'll come here and uh, let me pretty this up for you a little bit. Ordinarily, I'd be using XML Spy or something like that, but you know, I'm not. And right there, and right there. And we'll just kind of pare this down a little bit till I get to something a little usable, right? Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. Right there right there okay so now I need to create my password password equals separate it with a semicolon and I should be good to go there may be one thing that, that throws up on me but we'll see uh, There we go, and we are counting uh, from the database with our package config. Now, <clears throat> you can change any of these while that's running. You can change any of these guys, right? You can change, uh, you know, the source. You can change the username. You can change, you know, the initial catalog. You can even change this to be... Uh, uh, Windows authentication, which would be uh, integrated security equals SSPI, or integrated security equals true. Hmm, one of those two. I forget which one. Uh, but uh, actually, let me check that out. Well, I, you know, it would be a couple different ones. If you come here to connectionstrings.com, 
that'll give you a lot of connection strings for a lot of different uh, databases. So let me see. Come on, stop it. There we go. So let me see what we've got here. If it'll scroll. Come on, scroll. For some reason this website's wanting to act up. What are you doing? Did I tell you to download anything? Okay, there we go. Now, uh, prompt for username and password, connecting to a SQL Server instance. Okay, so this one says trusted connection equals yes. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go real quick. Okay, so anyway, you can see here that, you know, it's either going to be integrated security equals SSPI or trusted connection equals true, depending on, on you know, what syntax you end up using, right? But uh, one of those two will probably get you. So anyway, is this done yet? Yes, it's done. See, 24 million and change. Um, anyway, that's how you use a, a config file uh, for the connection string. It's actually pretty easy. Um, I'll show you that config file one more time here. Uh, you can change this to anything. One of the, you know, and and when you deploy it, you can change the values as well. So, you know, when you you can set the values when you deploy it in the deploy utility. So if you're deploying the same package to different servers you can change some of these guys in here and make them uh, uh, and, and you know localize them for that box right um, <clears throat> one thing that you really have to watch out for is when you're using package configs uh, the the package you, you really have to make you, you really have to be careful where you put the config file because wherever it is on your hard drive right here let me stop this real quick. Wherever that package is here, okay, you notice it's in JBCP test, is where it has to be on the server when it's in production. You can't move this file from the package, uh, from the package once you once you put it out there, okay. If you do, I mean, you can. There are ways that you can do that, right? But you have to call it specifically with the package. Uh, with the config file name um, <clears throat> and that's going to be for another video right but for right now the basics are you know keep it in the same location and you won't have to specifically pass it the uh, the config file when you call the package so anyway that's all I got on that one and good luck